Welcome to the Core Cars News Tech Lab. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Disney Plus app running on a Roku, but it's very similar on Apple TV, Android TV, Fire TV, and more. Now, I do have to warn you, Disney Plus has been having some issues where it kind of stalls out, doesn't want to load things. Disney has acknowledged that they're aware of the issues, that the demand is basically overwhelming from people trying to get in on it. So we may see some issues right now, but I was able to get in with it working, so I figured let's shoot this video before it goes down again. So warning there. Also, if you're new here, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up. We do daily core cutting videos, not only showing you new core cutting apps like this one, but daily core cutting news shows, Q and A's, reviews, how to guides, and more. So let's take a look at this. If you want to learn more about Disney Plus or where to download this app, I'll put a link to it down in the show notes down below. We have a full post with download links for many of the popular different versions of the Disney Plus app. Now, this is the screen when you first load into it. This is what the home screen looks like. Of course, you have a kind of a rotating different movies and television shows that they want to promote. You can jump directly into different categories of Disney movies or Pixar and more. And it's a very beautiful app. I'm running this on Roku, very smooth seamless navigation when it's working. And you can see all the categories you expect, very Netflix-esque, you've got the originals, hit movies, trending, and more. So if you've used pretty much any major streaming service in the last couple years, you're gonna feel right at home. Across the left here, they do have the ability for you to switch profiles here. Uh, you can add different profiles and edit the um, edit them here so I can say, I wanna have a profile for my kids or my spouse with it and pick different icons. And you can see, you know, just a little bit slower. This was a little faster before I think everybody started getting on this and trying to use it. Um, but, and then you can go in here and name it and do more. And um, oh, it does allow you to do kids mode. So I can say, um, focuses exclusively on kids friendly content. So if you have a young child like I do, that will help with it. Nice feature there. Uh, let's not save that profile. And then let's go back into, there we go. Now we turn off the sound on that. Let's go back into the app. Unfortunately, I'm not able to really play any movies or television shows here. Disney's extremely aggressive in their YouTube takedowns of that kind of content. But I can give you kind of an idea here of some of the feature content that's available with it. Um, now, the Star Wars content, for example, will be in 4K. Um, they do do that with Dolby um, Sound and more. If your device supports it, you need a device and TV that supports that. And it does have like The Simpsons in here. Now, some people have complained about the fact that The Simpsons, for example, does not, it's a, not the original four by three version. It is the um, stretched out version where they kind of pan the image around your TV to show you different things that are happening on it in a widescreen format. So if you're not a fan of that, you may still want to stick with your net, with your old DVDs of The Simpsons, but it is included here. A lot of um, classic movies like 2000 um, Leagues Under the Sea, 200 000, or 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, excuse me, The Absent Mind Professor, um, Huck Finn and more in here, along with a lot of um, newer movies and newer television shows included with this, like Ant-Man in here and more. So it's really great. Disney really dug deep into the catalog. Now, not everything's here. Disney has said they have to wait for some content to clear out from previous contracts they had to bring it over. And there are a few times where it's, I think it was the Hannah Montana show where it was showing um, um, all the seasons except for I think it was season three or something like that was not included. So you still do run into some issues with that. And it's not the full back catalog of Disney content, but it is the vast majority of the Disney Bolt in here, which is really nice selling point for $6.99 or you can prepay for a year. Now the Disney um, Plus, Hulu, and ESPN bundle is available. What you do is you need to, after you create a Disney Plus account, on their website, DisneyPlus.com, log into it, go into the settings, and in there is where you will find ability to link your Hulu and your ESPN Plus account for a 
discount, $4.99 off of your Hulu subscription. The great news about this was a lot of people were wondering, will um, Disney's uh, Hulu, or, uh, bundle with Hulu and ESPN Plus work with Hulu Live TV? I can confirm that yes, it will work with um, Hulu's Live TV bundle. You still only get the $4.99 discount on it though, which is not a bad deal. So check it out. You can go that way and do it. Honestly though, if you don't wanna use ESPN um, Plus, it may be better just to get Hulu and to get Disney Plus separate because it does come with some additional limitations. For example, with Hulu regular, the on-demand version gives you two streams. The Disney Plus version of it though, only gives you one stream. So if you were um, hoping to stream multiple uh, ones at once, you can't do that if you are a um, Disney Plus bundle with Hulu. Uh, now you can of course stream one stream of um, Hulu, somebody else be in Disney Plus and another person be in ESPN Plus, but it does limit your ability and there's limitations on ESPN Plus too also. So keep that in mind. So if you don't want the ESPN Plus part of it, because I know a lot of people have asked, can I just get di a discount on Disney Plus and on uh, Hulu? Now, at this time, you would have to get the ESPN Plus with it. And honestly, at that point, you're really not saving any money if you don't plan to use ESPN Plus and you're getting some limitations you wouldn't experience otherwise. With that said, it's a really good bundle. ESPN Plus has a ton of sports on it, especially if you love college basketball, college football, uh, and more. There's a lot of sports, a lot of Olympic sports on there that you may really want to try out. So a huge collection here with it and i i wish this was here a few years ago when my daughter was into pga masks that would have made my life a lot easier and classics like the older spider-man um spider woman um, there's a show i bet a lot of people haven't seen if you have let me know what, what's your review and more a lot of classic disney programming disney afternoon content like tailspin the original ducktales and more is included so there you go, a quick first look at Disney Plus, some information about it. Overall, two thumbs up. I know we've had a little bit of a hiccup at the beginning with it not wanting to properly load. For some people, some errors are still persisting. You may still get where you go into a category and the wheel just spins and doesn't wanna load. Disney says they're aware of this, they're working hard to address it. And we'll let you know once we hear anything additional about that over at corecarsnews.com. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. It really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do. And hopefully we can help you break free from the high cost of cable TV and still watch the shows you enjoy. So thanks for watching. I'll be back tomorrow. Take care, everybody.